Hello, in this demo, I am going to demonstrate the new feature of Microsoft.NET 3.5 link to SQL. Here I have my database. It has got two tables, employee table and department table. Say department ID is the foreign key. Now I will be adding link to SQL class file. So add new item, link to SQL class file and I will name it as my link. So it's going to add this in your app code folder say yes oh, so this is the method pane so let me hide this pane now my link dot dml is my data model now I need to drag and drop the tables to create a data model like we used to do these things in our data set xsd files so here in our xsd files we used to write the queries so here we need not to write any query now let us see how to write a simple select query so this is my aspx page i will take a button and my grid view Now let me name it as btn select and the text as select. Now I will be writing a simple select query. So here I have got the event. Now first of all I should create an instance of my data context empty. So I have created an instance of my data context. Now I can access any table using this object. So empty dot department table I can access, I can access employee table. So all the tables that I have in my data model I can access them. So what I want is I want all the records from an employee table. So let me store all the records from an employee table in a variable emp record now see i need not to uh, use any kind of uh, type here uh, everything what i get from link is a uh, implicit casting so i will be selecting from say e in my empty dot employee table from this i will be selecting i will say select e that's it now i need to give employee records to my grid view as a data source grid view one dot data source equals emp records grid view one dot data bind i'll be binding the data to this grid view so let's execute hope it works So here it works, so it's working, it's quite simple. Now let us go to the source code. Now here I can even s write my order by, order by clause, order by e dot, I have got all the columns, e dot employee salary. I can say that, so let me execute. fine so I have got ascending I can also write in descending order order by descending so this is going to give me the record set in a descending order by salary yeah here it goes I will write uh, something more complex query here so instead of selecting all the records, I want to shape the query. I want to shape the columns. I'll say new 
e dot i want employee id e dot employee name e dot employee salary and here is the magic now if instead of displaying department id if i want to dis display the department name usually in my sql i need to write the join now let us see how to display the department name here now e dot i will be calling department table dot department name and e dot department table dot department head so that's it it's very simple for me see i have not written any kind of join here now let me execute this here it goes so i have not at all written any kind of join but with simple properties i am able to access all the columns from the both the tables the columns whatever i let me put a breakpoint and see what link is doing for me i'll execute this here i click this now let us step over 11 now here i have my query so i'll do one thing i'll copy this just copy and i'll pen it in a notepad so see so it's a typical a uh, left order join which is been written for me by link so here i need not to write any kind of joins so here i need not to write any kind of joins so this is the feature of link in microsoft.net 3.5 thank you